Today, we're going to dive into a pivotal moment in WWE wrestling history. The return of the NWO in 2002. I said give me a hell yeah! Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Initially, the resurgence of Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Scott Hall, and Kevin Nash seemed like a dream come true for fans. But as time went on, the faction took a dramatic turn, leading to its ultimate downfall. The NWO's return in 2002 was met with thunderous applause. Fans were ecstatic to see the iconic trio finally in a WWE ring. However, things quickly started to unravel. Hollywood Hulk Hogan, once the embodiment of the villainous NWO, shockingly turned babyface. This unexpected shift not only confused fans, but also diluted the edginess that had made the NWO so captivating in the first place. The faction lost its rebellious spirit, and the fans were left yearning for the darkness that defined the original NWO. As if Hogan's transformation wasn't enough, the NWO faced more challenges in the form of suspensions and firings. Kevin Nash, a founding member of the group, found himself suspended due to various backstage issues. This disruption not only weakened the faction's core, but it also created a sense of instability among the remaining members. Scott Hall, another key figure in the NWO, was ultimately fired, further destabilizing the group. With each departure, the NWO lost a piece of its identity, leaving fans questioning its future. Amid the chaos, the NWO made questionable additions to their ranks. Kevin Nash, upon his eventual return, recruited X-Pac, Big Show, and inexplicably, Ric Flair added Booker T. These additions diluted the once exclusive group, diluting its power and mystique. The NWO was known for its small, tight-knit roster, and these new recruits felt out of place. Instead of maintaining the original vision, the faction became bloated and lacked the cohesion that once made it a force to be reckoned with. The decision to add Booker T, Big Show, and X-Pac ultimately proved to be the final nail in the NWO's coffin. The chemistry among the members was lost, and the faction lost its direction. The once dominant force in wrestling had become a shell of its former self. Fans witnessed the demise of an iconic group that had revolutionized the industry. The NWO's legacy would forever be tainted by the missteps and questionable decisions that led to its downfall. And there you have it, the dramatic story of how the addition of Booker T, Big Show, and X-Pac ultimately ruined the original NWO. What could have been a triumphant comeback for one of wrestling's greatest factions turned into a cautionary tale of bloated rosters and misguided decisions? Join us next time as we explore more captivating moments in wrestling past, present, and future. Subscribe with all notifications on to catch our new content. Give us a like. Let's build that bond, like Ryan Abe says. Oh, also don't forget to subscribe to our second channel, Wrestle Rant Zone, for more wrestling videos. Until then, keep watching that wrestling and we'll keep talking about it. Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be.